In this era of climate change disaster and overconsumption, many citizens of the Earth are reevaluating their lifestyle choices and attempting to redirect their daily practices to create a lesser impact on the environment. Various trends that have come about in recent years include hybrid cars, veganism, and biodegradable products. Most people today have even gone so far as to abandon plastic water bottles entirely and offer reusable ones to promote sustainability. However, we as a population are still mindlessly consuming beverages in another way. At least 58 billion disposable coffee cups are used every year worldwide. Coffee cups have become the plastic water bottles of our generation. Maybe just a few times a week. Probably two to three times a week. Five. Four times a week. <laughs> I hate to admit it, but probably like once a day. Three to four times a week. About once every day. A couple times a week. Every day. I don't buy those. Those are dumb. Purchasing bottled water was once an overlooked issue as well. Bottled water would be bought because it was convenient and necessary. Now it is rare to see anyone drinking water out of anything but a variety of a reusable cup. Observing the issue at a local scale has made it more than evident that disposable cups are not understood as problematic. It is extremely common to see a student with a reusable water bottle but a disposable cup. What goes into the making of one paper coffee cup? 0.11 kilograms of CO2 emissions, 0.05 grams of chemical waste created, 4.1 grams of petroleum, 27.5 grams of raw wood, 1,048 kilojoules of energy, 1 gallon of water, and 1.8 grams of chemicals. My name is Matt Greeno, and I'm a sustainability coordinator here at UVic. Um, and that's pretty broad, so what we have is a sustainability action plan. I need to pull it out here. All right, this is our most recent action plan, right? So uh, 2014 to 2019. That's his plan. Uh, overall is to see a zero waste campus in, in yeah. this case. So the issue of paper cups you know, sits firmly within kind of my portfolio. So we exhort uh, people to use reusable cups through the Love and Love campaign. We're trying to highlight the injunctive norm, which is like the idea that the institution wants you to do something or the thing that you should do is reuse a reusable cup. In Biblio, for example, they only have to go mugs, or you have to bring your own mug. Like that's the only options. Mm -hmm. Same in the cafeteria, yeah. uh, in Mystic Market, on uh, the Boardwalk Cafe. Uh, same in most places around campus. It's just it's disposable or bring your own. I've always been a, a guy who cares about the environment. But coffee cups are completely redundant. Like they don't even have an alternative to paper cups. Like why aren't ceramic reusable mugs the thing? I don't understand why that's not possible. <laughs> on average, 3,000 cups are thrown in garbage bins every day on our campus, even though recycling and compost bins are available steps away. I'm Dana Johnson. I am living a zero waste lifestyle. For me personally, I just uh, don't send anything to the landfill. Just really being aware of your consumption metabolism of like what you're taking in and what you're putting out. At first I thought it was going to be a sacrifice of like convenience, like the convenience of like being able to like grab something and go. It is more convenient to like gear my lifestyle towards sustainability, like it's more convenient for me now rather than like try to go find a waste bin. Yeah, yeah. yeah I do. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. I would say so, but I guess we don't have to fix it easily enough, so I just keep using it. Yes. I have a reusable one, so I should be bringing it. Yeah, for sure. It could definitely be reduced. Yeah. They're harmful. Um, it produces a lot of waste. They're probably the top contributor to the landfills across universities. The red container, whatever that recyclable container is. The one where you put your cups. <laughs> um, I just chose mine in the recycling bin. Um, I throw them in the garbage when there's no other convenient options. The, the confusion around what to do with the cups. Nobody knows what to do with a cup. There's a great misconception about the recyclability of cups. Many people believe they can be tossed in their recycling bin, no problem. However, most cups are lined with a thin layer of wax or plastic, called polyethylene, and cannot be processed in most recycling facilities. Our Vikes Nation cups here at UVic are actually compostable, 
but so few students actually take the time to separate them from the plastic lid and dispose of them properly. The small amount of plastic poses a big problem for the recycling industry, so most cups end up in the landfill. At UVic, the cups we throw out are destined for the Heartland Landfill in Saanich. The Victoria Heartland Landfill accumulates about 114,000 tons of municipal solid waste per year and is estimated to reach full capacity by 2049. The 2016 waste stream analysis indicated that over 1,000 tons of the municipal solid waste per year are from disposable coffee cups alone. Paper cups are included on the banned items list because even though they can be recycled, they are still in abundance being disposed of improperly. Consumers need to understand that placing disposable cups into the recycling or compost bins just isn't green enough. The, the, the disposable aspect of it that you can throw it away and there, then it's someone else's problem. Like, there's no conceptualization for some people of not yeah. living with waste. Talk to Indigenous peoples from their experiences, like they didn't grow up with waste at all. Mm -hmm. Like they don't have a concept of garbage. Like it's it's wild that we're on the flip side of that now that you can't think of live going day to day without it. It is. Crazy. It's crazy that I have to do that to be sustainable. It's crazy that I am in resistance by like not trying to make garbage. Why is that resistance? Why am I why is the stream like the path of least resistance one of consumption? That's crazy. The trend of biodegradable products, including coffee cups, is rising. The trend stems from good intentions, however, it has been proven not to be an adequate solution. Organic materials biodegrade when they are surrounded and broken down by other organisms such as fungi and other microbes. The process can happen aerobically with oxygen, or anaerobically without oxygen, but happens much faster with oxygen, which helps the molecules break apart and the materials break down. This is a process called oxidation. In landfills, there is very little dirt, very few microorganisms, and very little oxygen due to the tightly compacted trash. These conditions cause so-called biodegradable materials to stay intact for very long periods of time, never allowed to actually biodegrade. A program I always push is a, a program called A Green OZ. So the machine facilitates this economic exchange. So you go to the till and instead of buying a coffee for whatever, two bucks, you end up paying seven dollars. It's a five dollar deposit on your cup. And if you reach behind you, this is the, the potential. Um, this is the five dollars. So if the student wants to walk away with this, totally fine. You just bought a five dollar mug. But if they want to return it, there's a little scan card on it. You pop it in the machine, it scans it. You hit your one card, tap in, and get your money back. But that's one of the things that, that could be done, like eliminating to-go cups. Oh, yeah, one we haven't talked about, actually, this uh, this interesting one, Companion, is a potential program. I know that Food Services has looked into that. Um, what you do is you provide students Companion mugs. You put this little sticker on a cup, um, and with your phone, this Companion app, every time you get a coffee, you scan it, and then you get points. And then it's kind of a reward system. And you know you could win like you know free coffee. So that's kind of an interesting way of trying to promote reusable cup use as well. So trying to reward people. Oh, it's a tough one. I'd say I don't know maybe more like accessible information about how bad it really is. Cause you know, for me I'm just like oh like whatever. I'll just get this disposable coffee cup, but it actually does have like really big things that I think myself and others need to be aware of. I think it's a really good idea to give discounted prices on drinks if people bring their own reusable coffee mugs. I would say just have people start bringing in reusable mugs. What I like to do is every time I buy a disposable coffee is I usually take it home, wash it out, and use it again the next day. Ultimately, I think they should just not be available. They should just make it that if you don't bring your own coffee, you don't buy coffee. I mean, a pretty extreme way to do it is just to eliminate the use of coffee cups and just require people to bring their own. talking about the first step, or the thing that we, we know you can do right now is bring a reusable cup. Um, from our perspective though, we look at it as a waste issue. But, yeah, I think, I mean, it's the consumer end or the institution that's the change, right? And just rewarding people for, for using it and uh, trying to get everyone else to pay attention to that fact. That's really where the, the meat of it is. It's like getting people to see that um, it's, it's the thing that you should be doing. I think that we need to change coffee culture a little bit. Right now, we have this 
image in our head that is the person with the disposable coffee cup. Like if you think about getting a coffee, the image that comes to your head is that cup. And that's that's kind of the problem because people don't even be associated with, with a non-disposable version. So if you have more options or more appealing options that are not that, then people are gonna be more likely to, to switch because there's people who are very aware of these, these environmental issues that just don't even think about it. They just don't care enough to think about it more than that's an awareness thing probably at the end of the day. It's sad that it's hard. It shouldn't be, and it shouldn't be on the individual to figure out how to make it easier. It's also an issue too because like, great, you bought the mug, you got the reusable mug, you're using it every day, awesome. What's going to happen to it when it enters the waste stream? Did you consider that at all? You're purchasing sustainability, and I don't believe you can purchase sustainability. It has to be a change of values. I opt for a mason jar because if this, let's say, this breaks, well, the glass is recyclable and I can reuse this for another jar. There's so many more alternatives. There's so many more alternatives that are mm -hmm. way cheaper. This cost me literally zero dollars. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like hot drinks in it. Cute. Consumption of something recyclable, consumption of something compostable, is not the solution. It's not adequate in the face of the ecological catastrophe that we are living in now. This seems radical, but it's not radical in the reality of radical climate catastrophe. What's radical is somebody consuming plastic every single day, systematically, every single day, and not having to think about it and never having to deal with the consequences of that waste stream. That's radical. Honestly, I'm doing this for selfish purposes, like to alleviate some of the guilt I have for like what I see as horrible things we're inflicting on other people with our lifestyle. It's monstrous. It's, it's diabolical that we get to live like this and it's built on the back of other people's suffering. Look at your garbage and think like what is unnecessary and I mean the answer is like all of it, but just like make your daily life a little less around plastic. Mm -hmm. It's like a big, it's a big, big picture value change, but it's also just a lot of really tiny, tiny changes and considerations. Solutions to the issue of single-use coffee cup waste line, individual action, as well as that of politicians and business leaders. As individuals, we can choose to carry reusable mug with us in our day-to-day -day lives and commit to using it as our only option for takeaway beverages. Politicians and business leaders need to take responsible action in their decision to consume, distribute, and support sustainable natural resource consumption and suitable alternatives. Coffee shops and institutions like universities can provide various incentives for customers to make a more sustainable choice when it comes to their coffee, like a mug share program to stay mugs in the various food services locations on campus and supply travel mugs for sale, provided by the university at a subsidized cost. Other possible solutions could include charging extra for disposable cups or offering rewards to customers who bring their own reusable mug. Sometimes the most convenient option isn't the best one.